buyers and sellers in Arlington, we have had, for single family homes anyway, a 5% increase in new listings compared to this time last year. So again, that's an increase in listings overall for the year to date. And the sale price also has gone up by about 3%. So it's good news overall. So please watch this video all the way to the end to get the full story. Now, currently we have about, looks like 18 homes on the market compared to 20 this time last year. It's a slight decrease. And the average days on market has gone up by about 12%. So it's 55 days on, on market compared to 49 this time last year. And the average list price for homes currently available is 1,351. Uh, versus last year's about 1.357. And the month supply of inventory has gone down slightly to 0.99 versus 1.06 this time last year. Now for, again, as I mentioned earlier, units taken, we've had actually 234 homes uh, go on the market this year compared to 222 last year. That's the 5% uh, increase that I was mentioning. The overall list price though has only increased slightly about 1,277 versus 1,260 last year. That's a 1% increase. Probably not a bad idea for sellers to be a little more cautious with their uh, initial list price of home. Now for units pending, homes that have gone under agreement, we've had 206 units go under agreement year to date versus 187 last year. It's a 10 percent increase. That bodes well because that means they're going to be more closings later on this year when we look at that number and the days to offer of those homes is much lower compared to last year it's 12 days to offer versus 17 last year so that's good that means sellers are waiting a little less for their home to receive an offer than they were last year and again this is for single family home data we have had 35 homes have price changes this year compared to just 43 Last year, that is a 19% decrease. That's a good thing. And we've had, it looks like original list price for homes was 1.462 versus 1.519. That is a 4% decrease. Now for sales, we've had 184 homes sell this year compared to 174 last year. So sales have gone up by about 6%. And the days on market has increased just about, about two days. That's 25 days on market for those homes that sold this year, year to date versus 23 last year. And the average sale price for homes that sold year to date is 1,279 versus last year's 1,246. That's the 3% increase that I was telling you about. And the overall list to sale price ratio is about 6.1% versus 5.94%. From this time last year that is a 15 percent or so increase from this time last year and that's good that means homes are selling for even more above asking than they were around this time last year now for expired data we've had 29 homes listings expire this year versus 30 last year that is a negligible difference of about one and the average list price of those homes that did have expired listings is 1.545 versus 1.490. This time last year, that's a 4% increase of homes that are overpriced tend to, they're at risk of not selling if they're overpriced. And the average days on market for those homes is 86 versus 66. Last year, that's a 30% increase. I suspect there may have been some homes in there that are a home or two that are throwing off the average. So that's it for now. If you have any questions, please go ahead, direct message me, put them in the comment section below, uh, whatever works best for you, and I'll get back to you. Please like this video and share it with your family and friends. Take care. Have a good day.